Good morning children. I hope all of you are fine and enjoying good health. I am Svita Das. Today I will be starting the second chapter of the social science which is the northern mountains. In this chapter we will read about the mighty mountains, we will read about the divisions, we will read about the life of the Himalayan people. Okay, now let us start with the mighty Himalayas. The Himalaya is the highest mountain range that extends from Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh, covering a distance of about 2,500 km in India. The Himalayas stretch across six nations, Bhutan, China, India, Nepal, Pakistan and Afghanistan. The Himalayas in Sanskrit means the abode of snow. It is also known as the crown of India. It is known as the crown of India as because it is located in the northernmost part of our country. Well, you can see in the slide that the Himalayas is covering from Jammu and Kashmir till Arunachal Pradesh. The mountain range covering north and northeastern part of our country is called the Himalayas. The Himalaya is the highest mountain range in the world. Now we will discuss about the facts of the Himalayas. The Himalayas are located between the two rivers, River Indus in the west and River Brahmaputra in the east. The state of Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, West Bengal, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Assam and Tripura fall in this region. Several high mountains including the highest peak Mount Everest, second highest peak Mount Godwin, Austin and many more peaks like Kanchanjunga, Annapurna etc. are located in the Himalayas. The highest point of any mountain is called the peak. Well children, now as you see in the slide we will read about the divisions, the divisions of the Himalayas. The three major divisions of the Himalayas from north to south are the Greater Himalayas or Himadri, the Middle Himalayas or the Himachal, and the Outer Himalayas or the Shivalik. Children, now we will discuss in details about all the divisions. Firstly, let us start with Himadri, Himadri or the Higher Himalayas. Himadri is the highest range, northernmost part of the Himalayas and are permanently covered with snow. High peaks and many glaciers like Siachen, Gangotri, Jamunotri etc. are located here. Himadri is the source to a large number of perennial rivers. These rivers join to make the two large river basins, the Indus Basin and the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. After Himadri, we will discuss now about the second range or the Himachal. Himachal lies to the south of the Himadri. The mountain slopes are covered with thick forest, mountain passes and fertile valleys. Shimla, Mussoorie, Darjeeling and Nainital lie in this region. After the Himachal, now we will read about the Shivali. It is the lowest range of the Himalayas. The Shivalik merges with the foothills of the Himalayas, which is known as the Terai region. It has thick forest and is home to a large number of wild animals. The Purvanchal range lies to the northeastern part of India. Garo, Khasi, Jayantia, Naga, Lusai, Patkai and Mizo hills are a part of this range. Now in the given slide you will see the northeastern hills which are also known as the Purvanchal hills. Number 1 Patkai Bam, Naga hills, Mizo hills, Garo hills, Khasi hills, Jayantia hills, Barel range are the part of this Purvanchal range. Ok, now let us discuss about the significance of the Himalayas mountain to India. It has got climatic influence. It helps 
in the defense of our country and acts as a natural barrier. Himalayan mountains is a source of perennial rivers. It adds to the fertility of the soil. It helps in the production of hydroelectricity. It has got rich forest wealth. It even helps in the agriculture and gives us mineral resources. Beautiful places of the Himalayan mountains attracts tourists. It has got many places of pilgrim interest. Many tourists and pilgrims visit the places every year. Okay children, now we will discuss about the life in the Himalayas. The Himalayas pass through a number of Indian states like Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, West Bengal, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Assam and Tripura. In the following slides, we will have a glance at them. Okay, now, children, let us see what Jammu and Kashmir has to show us. It has got two capitals. The summer capital is Srinagar and the winter capital is Jammu. Jhilam, Chenav and Indus are the main rivers. The languages which are spoken in Jammu and Kashmir are Kashmiri, Dogri, Urdu, even Hindi, etc. Eid, Urs, Lohri, Diwali, Bahu Mela, Kraft Mela are the important festivals and fairs of the state. Jammu and Kashmir people wear firan and salwar. They also wear patani suit with silver jewelry. Rof, Vigi Nachun, Rol and Dogri are the famous dance forms of the state. In art and craft, mainly weaving is done in silk, wool and carpet. Amongst the tourist spots, Amarnath, Gulmarg, Sonmarg, Dal Lake, Hazrat Bal are some important places. Though the beauty of Jammu and Kashmir attracts many people at large in different corners of the state. Well, after Jammu and Kashmir, now we will read about the state of Himachal Pradesh. The capital of the state of Himachal Pradesh is the Shimla. Ravi, Bias, Shenav and Satlej are the main rivers flowing through the state. Pahari, Kirati, Kinnauri, Hindi, Punjabi etc. are, the some, of, are some of the languages spoken in the state. Haryali, Lohri, Baisakhi, Dharmshala festival, Kulu festival are the main festivals and fairs of the state. People wear loose shirt and pajamas with colorful caps. These are worn by men. Whereas female or the women wear colorful kurtis and pajamas with beautiful scarves. Main form of music is samskara. Whereas Shona, Nati and Bura are the main dance forms. In art and craft, Pashmina shawl, wooden craft, Kangra miniature painting is mainly known. The beauty of the state of Himachal Pradesh attracts a lot of tourists. Shimla, Manali, Kulu, Kufri, Dharmshala, Rotang Pass etc. are some of the main tourist spots. Well children, now let us read about the state of Uttarakhand. The capital of Uttarakhand is Dehradun. Rivers like Ganga, Yamuna flows through the state. The main languages spoken in the state are Garwali, Kumayani, Hindi. The main festivals being Vasant Panchumi, Dasera, Makar Shankranti, Nanda Devi Mela, Harela Mela. Men wear kurta and pyjama with headgears or turban, whereas women wear Rangwali Pichora and jewellery. Langvi, Langvir Nitya, Barada Nati, Cholia are the main dance forms, whereas folk music is played with dhol and turi. In art and craft, Pashmina shawl, wooden craft, kangra and pahari painting are famous. The places 
which are famous for tourism in Uttarakhand are Rani Khet, Kasoni, Auli, Musauri, Gangotri, Badrinath, Kedarnath, Hemkun Shaheb, Hardwar, etc. Now let us learn about Sikkim. The capital of the state of Sikkim is Gangtok. The main river flowing through Sikkim is Tista. Main languages spoken are Bhutia, Lepcha, Sherpa, Nepali, etc. Whereas Drukpa, Cheshi, Dasen, Lasung and Sagadawa are the main festivals of the state. People were Yantase, Tokrodam, Sambo and Baku. Whereas Damdyam with Tago and Taro and Hanju are worn by the women. Mask dance in Checham, Kagyat are the main dance form. In art and craft, handloom, handicrafts, woolen, car woolen carpets and furniture are mainly known. The beauty of Sikkim also attracts a lot of people. Chung Thang, Yam Thang, Lachen, Gur Dangmar, Nathula Pass, Gangtok are the famous tourist spots of Sikkim. Let us now learn the story of the Seven Sisters. Northeast India is the easternmost region of India, representing both a geographic and political administrative division of the country. It comprises seven states, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. These states are connected to the rest of India via a narrow strip in West Bengal. This is called Shiliguri Corridor or the Chicken Snake. In this slide, we will see the beauties of the places Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Tripura, Sikkim and Nagaland. Though Sikkim is one of the northeast state, but it is not one amongst the seven sisters. The seven sisters of India are home to some magnificent terrains, exotic flora and fauna, and diverse culture. The states and the capitals. The capital of Arunachal Pradesh is Itanagar, Assam, it is Deshpur, Manipur, it is Imphal, Meghalaya, Shillong, Mizoram, it is Aswal, Nagaland, Kohima, Tripura, Agartala. Let us now look into the tabular representation of the northeastern states with their tribes and tourist spots. In Assam, the tribes like Missing, Boro and Karbi are found. The famous tourist spot being the Kaziranga National Park. In Arunachal Pradesh, we have tribes like Adi, Aka, Apatani, Galo, Momba. Kamlang Wildlife Sanctuary is the place of tourist interest. In Manipur, tribes like Kuki, Naga, Pangal and Mizo are mainly found. Whereas the tourist spot which is famous is Kebul Lamjau National Park and also Loktak Lake. Meghalaya which is also known as the Land of Cloud has tribes like Kashis, Garos, Jaintia, Boros, etc. Norcrack National Park, Elephant Falls, Bishop Falls are the famous tourist spot. In Mizoram, Mizos and Pavi are the main tribe. The Blue Mountain, which is the highest point in the northeast, is the main tourist spot. Even the Pala Lake is worth seeing. In Nagaland, we have Naga, Ao, Sangtam tribe. Wawade Waterfalls and Kisama Heritage Village are the main tourist spots of Nagaland. In Tripura, we have Riang and Tripuri as the famous tribes. 
whereas Clouded Leopard National Park and Sipahijola Sanctuary are the main tourist spots. Okay children, that's all for today. We have completed our second chapter that is the Northern Mountains. In the next video, we will be reading about the Northern Plains. Till then, stay at home, stay safe. Thank you.